Hi Leo, welcome to your who has got their eye on you reading for the month of December. I do have um, a list of private uh, service readings below in the show more section of this reading. So for those interested in a private reading, you're more than welcome to have a look at that list that I have in the show more section along with my email um, as well. So having said that, please like, share, subscribe and comment. I really would appreciate that Leo. So thank you so much in advance. Let's get straight into it and have a look and see who's coming in who's got their eye on you leo leo who's got their eye on you <clears throat> okay the emperor this is strong energy okay the emperor does carry the energy of an aries this is someone that's quite influential possibly someone that's in a high position at work has a lot of responsibility or has a certain refined energy to them. The emperor is seen as someone that is quite intimidating, someone that is quite powerful. So I feel like this is a very influential or powerful person that you have around you, Leo, that is interested in you romantically. Now, I feel this person is at a distance. So if this is in work, possibly in your friendships as well, I feel like there's something in, a little bit intimidating about this person and that you haven't been able to explore them or explore this connection because they might be a little bit standoffish or a little bit cold. So they may harbor certain feelings but are yet to express them because it's not like they wear their heart on their sleeve. So they could have a certain exterior to them that makes you think they don't have feelings for you. So they could be... I guess, you know, they could have a very good poker face, so to speak, and hence why they're not giving away too much. So there's, a mis there's an element of mystery around this person, yes. But with the emperor here, they are quite quite guided by their desires, by passions, by sexuality. So they like a challenge and they like to pursue something here, Leo. So they definitely have their eye on you. Now, I almost feel like for some of you, if you are in close engagement with this person, you might notice this in the way they look at you. There's something about an intense stare or like an almost like an intense energy to this person to the point where it could even make you feel a little bit uncomfortable, um, Leo. But no, it's all in good faith and it's all in admiration here. You know, I think there's looking at these cards here, this 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 person is possible is um makes possible the notion of a relationship i feel like it's what well, looks like a world that is around him i know it's like marbled with different um different engravings here but i almost feel like you mean a lot to them whether they show you this or not leo is what i'm gathering from this again it's kind of hard to pick up because i think this person is very closed off to their emotions whether or not they've acknowledged the way they feel about you but this person, I feel like they're in a leadership role, as I said, or someone that's very influential or important in some capacity here. Could be in their professional life, it could be in their personal life, could also be with creative pursuits as well. But I feel like there's a lot of determination to this person and they're a little bit relentless here. Um, but I think there is this, this notion of fire, um, you know, they've almost got like a fire in the belly is what I'm seeing here with the emperor. And they're coming up as your emperor. So if you're a female watching this, there's someone that could be very, very important to you in your life. Even if you're a male, um, Leo, that's watching this, this could translate into the empress as well. So this could be the empress you've been waiting for. <clears throat> could be a superior for some of you. It could definitely be a work romance or, you know, they're a little bit intimidating and they can't exactly come out with their emotions for one reason or another. Leo, who's got their eye on you? Okay, beautiful. Queen of Pentacles. This is an Earth sign, a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. There's a lot of stability coming from this person. I feel like because she emerges from the tree trunk here, she's established a lot of roots. So the energy around this person is that they are quite established or there's stability around them. So say, for example, if it's someone you're working with, I feel like they've been in the company for a while. The reason I say that is because pentacles often do denote coins, money, finances and assets, also material possessions. So I feel like if it is this person that's coming 
coming through. They have a certain seniority about them within the company or within your life even. So this could indicate this is someone a little bit older than you, maybe someone that's very wise, uh, maybe someone that's very life-learned or mature. So maybe it's not necessarily age here, Leo, but this person has some sort of firm footing and has established roots, established connections. Uh, I feel like they have an expertise in something here, Leo. They could also work with finance as well. Again, this this quite superior energy around them. So I feel like they're very experienced, quite successful in their career. Possibly could work in, in that finance sector or with real estate property or anything like that. A very strong attraction uh, is what I'm seeing here. This person sees you as someone they could establish a very solid connection with. So some of you, I feel like this person has been in your life for quite some time already, but you might not even realize that this person sees you in this way. Because the roots here, when I think of the trees here in this in the artwork here, this shows wisdom and it shows firm footing and it shows familiarity and it shows that there's growth. So for some of you, this you've grown with this person somehow. Maybe it's within a company you've been working with. Maybe you've grown with this person. Maybe you've physically grown up with them in younger age, in your high school years, uh, through your childhood maybe. But there's this notion of you carry some sort of link towards each other. And when I think of trees, they're such ancient beings and I think there's some sort of ancient link. So this could even be that this person is a past life link that's somehow feeling very drawn to you is what I'm seeing here. But they can definitely see you as someone that could be a part of their lifestyle, a part of their life and could complement their life in a really, really big way here, Leo. There is a very strong sensual attraction to you as well, but also in the practical realm. They like how practical you are. They like the fact that you can bring in that emperor, that masculine energy if you're a female, or empress energy if you're a female. They're very, they're, they stand in admiration of this is what I'm seeing here with the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, there was a card that fell out. What was it? Queen of Cups, beautiful. Water sign, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Strong emotion coming from this person here. Look at these majestic turtles here, majestic sea turtles. This person likes the way you carry yourself. They see you as very intriguing. Now this could be through your hobbies, this could be through your mannerisms, Leo, this could be the way you articulate this yourself, the way you carry yourself. This person, it's almost like they could watch you and they see you. It's almost like, especially with uh, sea turtles, when they come out, when they lay their eggs, like if I think about the, I guess the practicality of this, it's almost like they see you every so often or they see you in your element every so often. So there's probably not a lot of communication for some of you with this person, but when they see you, you just bring out this wonderful energy in them. Look at them, they feel happy. It's almost like they're dancing. You make them feel really, really good, Leo. They like to watch you. So for some, I feel like this person's had their eye on you. H have you been dancing anywhere recently? Like this might've been a night out, this might've been at a party somewhere. Uh, this might have been at work if you did a little victory dance or something, but I feel like th there's motion and it's it's fluid. The way you carry yourself, the way the way you are, Leo, your persona has this person really, really attracted. I feel like this is someone that's quite um quite spiritual. You can see with the rune stones behind them, you know what looks like the star of creation here, water. They're very in touch with their emotions, Leo governed by emotions they go through life feeling their way so they could be very intuitive as well they could be very intuitive about how you feel about them intuitive just about other people's energies in general I feel like they pick up on people's um, energy here so this is quite powerful I think you've got a very spiritual person that's got their eye on you could be someone that is very passionate about animals as well, has pets, is an advocate for human rights, is a philanthropist, humanitarian, someone that's passionate for life. Um, not only animals and, and species, so to speak, but, uh, but also very passionate about um, the environment. I think there's a lot of passion that comes from this person because they care. They care a lot about the environment, about other people. They've got a very um, a wonderful care factor here. Who's got their eye on you, Leo?
Eight of Wands. Very nice. Strong fire energy again. Aries, Sagittarius or Leo coming through. This is beautiful. Okay, wish. Look at the dandelions. Wish fulfillment here. You are someone they're wishing for. They're thinking about you a lot. I could see this, Leo. They admire you for everything that you are. They're about, there's something about action here. So a wish that has been emitted to the universe is going to come to fruition here because the ones are all about action. And you can see this tree here. Something's coming into creation here. There's something magical that's happening. So for some of you, there's some sort of action or message that's coming to you around this time frame about how this person feels about you, Leo. Something about their words or actions or the way they carry themselves. They're also a person of action. So as much as they're very emotional and spiritual, they act on their desires. They want to establish those roots. They're all about establishing boundaries, establishing connections, establishing feelings. So I like that they're, they're quite a go-getter, Leo, and I think this will appeal to you very, very much so. Again, something to do with the animals here. So very... Um, a very strong physical attraction towards each other, I feel. That you're being guided towards each other. You're being divinely guided towards each other. And that's, that's powerful. They are a wishful thinker, but I feel like whatever they wish for, they act on it. They enjoy the journey. They set out to achieve something and they go right out and get, get it. There is no one there to stop them. So they're quite, you know, this energy is quite, I guess, dominant around them. But look, it could be someone that is on the move a lot, could be at a distance. Uh, they could travel a lot. The Eight of Wands is all about movement and travel and not being able to be in the one place for too long. So I guess they like the notion of establishing routes, but they're not always able to do so. So this could be for work. They might travel a lot for work. They may have traveled a lot in general, or they may move around a lot as well is what I'm seeing here. But I hope this reading has been insightful. Thank you so much for watching and Merry Christmas, Leo. We'll chat soon.